You better get off of that. Don't lay down on that. Foxy. You silly cat. All right, you gotta move. Come on. Come on, fluffy butt. Move. Okay, so yesterday we went ahead and butchered, we had eight broad-breasted whites. And we butchered seven. We kept one because he was small and he needs to grow out. But there they are. And today we're going to be weighing each one because there are some in here that were just big boys. Big, big boys. So we got our setup going. Containers. This will weigh up to 44 pounds. Um, we're not going to use the bandsaw part, but we are going to use the grinder part because we're either going to keep these guys, um, we're going to try and keep them some, I think one or two whole, the rest we're going to grind up and then the wings and the, uh, legs will keep. Donald's cooking up some duck wings and legs right now. Got our cutting supplies, and then we got everything else in here ready to go. So, we are all set. Got the chair set up, and as soon as Uncle Wayne gets here, because we're going to be splitting the uh, birds with him since he did help with uh, getting them. And then we also have in here uh, shrimp bags. So, and then outside we have a burner, um, so that way we can... Um, put a pot of hot water on and use the shrink bags, but that'll be done outside. And Cooper, you gotta keep your nose off the table. Huh? You a silly boy. You a silly boy? No, don't paw me. Silly goofball. All right, so this one is 14 pounds. 14 pounds even. That's pretty good. And that's already uh, gutted, right? Yeah, all the, yep. And we're just going to do two at a time for right now? Yeah. Well, I want to get the weight on the hollow. Okay. All right. Number two is almost 17 pounds. 16 and three quarters. <laughs> Over you might want to move with knives. You're gonna pull out every single one of these. So yeah. that's number two. Well, because I want to figure out what ones are we going to. Yeah, I know. Shrimp wrap. Which ones? Let it drain out the water a little bit if there's any. All right, hold on. So this is number three. And just over seventeen. All right, number three. Rain. Turn it both ways. Yeah. Okay, number four. Sixteen. Oh, Sixteen even. How did did you weigh the one that we gave you? Oh, okay. Darn it, we should. It was about this size. Okay. Well, I'm thinking we ought to bag, go ahead and bag this one for us. Well, let's get the other two out. We still got or one more or two more. Yeah, let's, yeah let it drain both ways. So this is number five. Fourteen. Five. All right, one more. And number six. Fourteen and a half. All right. So it's about the same as that one there. 
All right, so we skipped most of the process, but we got 10 one pounders and then we got a two pounder for making chili one night. Um, we also got Donald's doing up, what is that, cracklins for the dogs? Well, it's, it's skin, skin from the turkey. It's not really crackling. Yeah, skin from turkey. So um, we're going to give the dogs a treat later. I got about three gallons worth of uh, bones in a bag. All right, so in the freezer, we got two whole ones, and then we got two bags of wings, and then these legs are just huge, monstrous legs. I mean, it's as big as my hand. That's just one. And like I said, I got about um, three bags of. Uh, three gallon size bags of bones. And then um, that's about it. That's uh, for our half of the turkeys. And uh, we're seriously thinking about doing this again. The next day. All right, so we had two of these going for the turkey broth. These are gonna go in the freezer with the rest of them. And then um, we can these, but uh, we're not done with the process. This is completely cooled down, so now we got to. I got to take the lids off. We got to um, get them um, soaking, and then we just got done putting a new ring on this old canner, and we are going to then go ahead and uh, pressure can the broth in this one and give it a try. All right, there we go. Got them all pressure canned. And then um, this one, we're not quite sure about, but we're going to go ahead and stick this one in the fridge. It was still bubbling a lot, where it was like there was air bubbles, but we checked the seal and it seems good, but we're just not gonna take a chance. So this one's gonna go in the fridge for us to use later, just to be on the safe side. But the rest of these, are going in the cupboard.